Hi everyone! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five rusters, for lack there of a better word. Um, these are fragrances that, if you make candle tins like I do, are almost 100% like no matter who you're buying your tins from, almost 100%, I speak from experience here, um, they're going to rust your tins. In other words, these fragrances contain high amounts of certain ingredients that we're gonna talk about later that are very likely to cause your tins to rust and your candle to not look so good. But anyways, there are always workarounds and if you love some of these fragrances like I do, there are absolutely ways to make them work. I have a whole video on how you can seal them and totally prevent this from happening, but it is just good to be aware, um, I think, of what you're getting into, especially if you buy from, uh, we've got a couple from uh, the Flaming Candle and some from Candle Science. Um, so very well-known suppliers, and if you do buy these fragrances or if you have them, be aware that these will rust your tins. However, if you make candles in non-tin material, like in jars that are made of glass, you won't have any issue with them. The issue comes when these fragrances come into contact with the candle tins. Uh, but anyways, if this is something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that my videos can appear in your newsfeed and you get notified from YouTube when I post a new video. But let's get right into today's video. So the very first one of these fragrances is Creme Brulee. And you're gonna notice a theme with a lot of these fragrances. They contain higher amounts of vanillin, which is a component of vanilla. So if you're using any fragrance that has a lot of vanilla in it, and you can usually tell on fragrance suppliers' websites, they will tell you like the percentage of vanillin. Um, and usually if you're over like two or three percent, you might want to kind of be aware if you're making tins. Um, definitely if you're over 5%, it's kind of a red flag. Um, if you don't want to seal your candle tins, then don't buy things that are over 5% vanillin and make them into a tin. Or just be okay with it discoloring slash rusting. Um, but Creme Brulee, beautiful fragrance. Um, I use this in a lot of my s'more type of scents that I make sometimes in the summer, or I made a fragrance last year in my summer collection that was called Disney Boardwalk, and it had some of this fragrance in it. Um, but anyways, that is the first one. Number two, and this one is really, really bad. Um, this is like my top ruster. Um, very vanilla. And I absolutely love this fragrance. It smells like vanilla frosting. It smells like cake to some people. To me, it just smells like really decadent, like royal buttercream icing. Um, but yeah, this one is a huge ruster and it's because of all that vanilla and just beware. Not too surprising, the next one is called Cinnamon and Vanilla. So things with cinnamon and vanilla and some types of citruses are gonna be the main uh, sort of components in your fragrance oils that are gonna cause this oxidation reaction that occurs with the tins and that's what basically causes them to rust or you get that kind of like yellowish orange ring around your candles. Um, yeah, cinnamon vanilla, beautiful fragrance, so good if you're wanting to create like a cinnamon bun. Um, I make a candle in my Winter Wonderland collection with this fragrance that is called Cinnabun, and it's a very popular seller. It has a select crowd, but those who know it and love it absolutely love it. But yeah, this Cinnabun is a huge ruster and definitely beware of it. And the next one is Toasted Pumpkin Spice. This is a fragrance that I use in my fall collection. I sell this one as Spooky Kooky, and it smells like a pumpkin snickerdoodle to me, 110%. Um, and I absolutely love this fragrance. I have got a five pound bucket of this on hand at all times because I just adore it. But 
it will cause some discoloration. And in this one, it is because of that cinnamon and I think it does have a little bit of vanillin in it as well. And the last one that I have in my collection that causes some discoloration, not terrible, but definitely does cause some discoloration, um, is this Cashmere Cedar by The Flaming Candle. And this fragrance, I absolutely love it. I use it in my Deschamps Braley Clinic candles, um, and I do sell them under the name of Claire de Lune because it just smells like this beautiful, expansive, moonlight vanilla. Um, sort of like Cedarwood Blanc from Candle Science, but to me it's much more sophisticated. Um, but anyways, yes, this one definitely causes some discoloration, so I do go through the trouble of sealing all of my candle tins when I'm using this fragrance. Well, that is all for today's video. Again, just watch out for those fragrances, especially containing vanillin and some citruses, but generally that vanillin and the cinnamon. Vanillin is definitely the biggest one. And again, you can usually find it on the fragrance um, manufacturers' websites. The reputable ones will usually list the percentage of vanillin um, because actually for people who make cold processed soap, which I do some of that as well, uh, vanillin discolors in cold processed soap. So usually fragrance suppliers will list it for that reason. And it's also very helpful for you with your candle tint um, to know how much vanillin is in your fragrances. Um, but anyways, if this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below if you have any additional fragrances that cause discoloration in your candles that I did not mention. Um, these are just the ones that I run into in my own candle making that cause a problem. And anyways, happy candle making and I hope you have an absolutely beautiful week. Love and light.